Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I edit a long video that I have recorded of a tutorial and uh, edit it down to a shorter version uh, automatically with CapCut tools. Just uh, pay attention that this is the pro version of CapCut. So what you do is you start a new project and you import your video. So this one that I did was a Twitch live and it was minutes long, 20 minutes, 42 seconds. And I had said a lot of just gaps and uh, words that are redundant. So I use this, I just drag it here underneath. And now it, um, I can see that it's 20 minutes here. And with a pro, um, Cap cut, you get this button of remove filler words. So you just um, click on that. It will analyze it. This takes a couple minutes, especially with longer videos. This one's 20 minutes, so it's going to take a while. Uh, but I also do that for videos that are even a few minutes long um, because it's going to capture viewers' attention better and um, it's just going to make it more interesting. And what it does, it's uh, cutting and pasting these pieces of video together automatically. So it's really convenient to use. Um, and it does that according to the transcription of your video. So uh, this would work well for videos with um, voiceover or talking and uh, wouldn't work that well for videos without any um, vocal uh, audio because um, then it's just going to cut off uh, maybe important bits of it. Um, so, um, I'm going to wait a couple minutes until it's done. All right, once it's done, I get this screen and as you can see here underneath, there's these little gaps here and you can actually go through each one of them and maybe cancel a couple. Um, you can categorize them according to uh, the pauses, repeats, filler words, or just see all of it and your transcription, transcription on the right side. You can also actually remove more things, like remove that one as well. I don't like all the and, and all right, I'm just deleting that. Let's see if there's anything else. So we just go over this. You can make it better, but I'm just going to click here, uh, create compound clip, and then click on the delete button. And now from 20 minutes and 40 something seconds, this is 16 minutes now. So I have almost five minutes of video deleted automatically. And now I'm going to go over um, and uh, see that it's smooth and there's no issues before I export it. This is the dashboard here. And I, what I love about this platform here, that it's all, um, you can do everything here, you don't, um, need anything. So once you go over it, make sure that it's all smooth. You can uh, add more edits on top of that, uh, or you can go back to the transcription and delete more things. And I have to kind of warn you about something I tried and didn't really quite work is going back to that same screen of remove filler words and deleting more lines uh, on the second and third round. Uh, it started to be getting crazy with just black gaps. I don't want to ruin this video, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do that neatly yet. So um, I was just hoping to click on that remove filler words again and again until it's shorter and more concise. But uh, that had not proven uh, itself so greatly. So I uh, do not recommend that, but you can just go over your video, uh, see if there's anything else you want to change, and then you would just export it here. And what's really nice about um, CapCut Pro is that after you export it, it would also automatically ask if you want to share it to TikTok with a uh, change in, in the 
from landscape to portrait mode. So you can actually do that as well. But for these tutorials, I did not find it working quite well because of the uh, portrait would cut off half of the screen. Um, yeah, so let's see if there's anything else that uh, it's important to know here. I think anything else, uh, if you have any questions, I would answer separately about editing down. But this was just a two-click editing skill that would allow you to shorten your long-form videos to a little shorter ones. That's definitely more interesting. And yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. And I uh, give it a share and comment with any questions, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I uh, hope to see you next time.